This is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to New Day Northwest. Starting things off, there is a new show on the Food Network called Bakeaway Camp with Martha Stewart, and it's lots of fun. In it, six amateur bakers head to the outdoors under the guidance of the lifestyle maven for a chance to win a kitchen filled with new appliances worth $25,000. That's worth competing for. Courtney Anderson Sanford is one of the camp contestants, and today she joins us from her home in Magnolia. So good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm great. This, this was all taped in terms of the show before COVID-19. So you guys were operating under a kind of a different format and life has changed a lot, I know, but how would you describe the experience now looking back on it? I would say it was amazing. I met phenomenal people, the um, other, my fellow campers were just top notch and I'm still in contact with them now and really love them. And I'm really proud to be a part of their group. Can you explain how the competition works, especially the fact that you guys are outdoors? So it was a soundstage outdoors. It was filmed in September. So September in New York is a little muggy. There's still a lot of insects around. So it was on a huge soundstage with um, stations for everyone. Everyone had to share their ovens and their spaces and ingredients. So there was a lot of kind kind of pushing and shoving to get to things, but all with a smile. Now you're done with the show. Um, mm -hmm. How far did you make it? I was the first one off. <laughs> I, um... I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, no. I was the first one off, which was um, fine by me because I really wanted to see the other bakers win and challenge themselves in the future. Plus, I grew up in a tent cooking in the real outdoors, and I wasn't sad to come back to Magnolia and settle into my kitchen inside. Well, it's an honor to be on a show like that. Martha Stewart doesn't uh, fool around. So let's talk about what we're making today. It's called Friendship Bread. Absolutely. Can you explain what mm -hmm. it is? So I grew up in New England, and this is um, said to be of uh, German or Amish descent. It's a starter. I don't know, Margaret, have you heard of the chain letter? Do you remember back in the day I'm when sorry? we had pen pals, the chain letter? Oh, yeah, absolutely. In fact, I yep. looked up the starter for this, and it's very simple. The recipe for the starter mm -hmm. couldn't it's be easier. It's so simple. But in times that we're in right now, when we're all feeling a little isolated and need to kind of feel connected to a community, um, this is a starter that's pretty simple. Should I start making it? Yeah, do. Okay, so as I talk, I'll tell you about it. So this starter is something that takes about 10 days to really grow and get its flavor. Um, and it ends up making this delicious uh, cinnamon sweet bread, but you can also make other things with starting to make scones or a savory bread, anything you want. And I like to um, start out with the wet ingredients and you always want in a starter or any bread to have warm water, not hot. And I put the water, just a quarter of a cup to get the yeast rolling and two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, which is basically a packet. Let that sit. And what you're doing here is waiting for the yeast to start activating and you'll see it bubble. And this one will start bubbling because I've made some before and I know this yeast is active. The other thing I'm gonna do is add a cup of milk. It's so easy. Just a cup of milk in with this liquid. You're gonna give that a quick stir and it really smells yeasty. It smells good and warm. Now that you have the wet ingredients, cup of sugar, and a cup of flour, which flour can be hard to find in these times. So if you have to use not uh, all-purpose flour, you could use a bread flour, part whole wheat flour, whatever you need. So mix up your dry ingredients, make a well in the center, pour in your wet ingredients, give that a stir. And it's okay if it has lumps because it's gonna sit for 10 days. I know that sounds disgusting. It's not gonna get refrigerated. It's gonna sit on your counter for 10 days and really grow and become effervescent and bubbly and gain a lot of flavor. Margaret, have you made a starter before? 
I tried to make a sourdough starter. Um, I can't say I was 100% successful. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Somebody you. once gave yeah. me some starter and I could make that work, but I don't know. Okay. It's a little discipline to not bother with it, right? Not worry it. I know. Death. I know. My Actually, my best friend, Lori, she, she killed her starter. I don't know how she did it. <laughs> <laughs> she probably put it in the fridge because she was paranoid that it was going to go bad. So see, mine's still a little lumpy. It's really carefree. This is not something you need to stress about. That is done. You put your starter in this bag. And of course, Seattle style. If Woo! You see box bag, I love it. Right? Right? You can just smush it up. Do you notice right now there's a little air in the bag? And that's going to happen. Uh, as the yeast ferments and things grow, every day you want to let the air out of your bag. Now, I don't keep mine in a bag always. Sometimes I just keep it in my counter in a plastic container or glass. And you don't want flies or anything to get in, so I cover it. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it is bubbly and dark compared to this, which is all light and kind of smooth. This is really effervescent. It smells like vinegar and it's a deep, dark uh, tote kind of compared to this white. So that happens over time. All right, and then once yeah. you've got that going, how do we get it to yeah. the final product? Right, so here's the fun part. This is a simple bread. It's just, I'm not gonna make it obviously because we don't have time, but it has a secret ingredient of vanilla pudding that you put in the bread. It's a cup of starter, flour, sugar, vanilla pudding. And then I like to, because you're gonna make small loaves, which is what I do. We could also use muffins. So I, at the end of your time, you're gonna end up with a lot more of the starter because in four days, I'm gonna add another cup of sugar, another cup of flour, and another cup of milk to this. And it's gonna feed it and help the yeast grow and absorb more flavor. So at the end of time, I'm going to take out a cup of my starter for each person I want to share this with. And I have my starter. This is my starter instruction. So on day one, you can sit back. Day two, day three, day four, day five, you get to relax. But on day six, you're going to add more ingredients. And then to make it fun, I put the bread recipe and the starter That is so cool, and that's what makes it friendship bread, right? Because we're sharing the love and the goodness and sending exactly. it on to our friends. Yep. That is amazing. So um, I love that. Together. And I think there's something weird going on now in a good way where we're baking mm -hmm. and doing things that have a little nostalgic component to it. There's something right. comforting about that during this time. Mm -hmm. And so the friendship bread seems like a pretty perfect way to, to make ourselves feel better and give a gift to a friend as well. And if you're taking a walk with a friend, a six foot walk with your masks on, of course, it's nice to bring a gift when you meet someone. <laughs> That's awesome. Courtney, thank you so much. And thanks also for sharing your recipe so that we can get started mm -hmm. with this at home today. And maybe it'll help Excellent. me learn additional patience in the kitchen. So <laughs> thank you a lot. Thank you. Courtney shared her recipe for friendship bread, and you can find it on our website at king5.com slash newday. Bake away, and please enjoy new episodes of Bake Away Camp with Martha Stewart air Mondays at 9 p.m. on the Food Network. When we come back, we're going to talk about the differing impacts of COVID-19 on various communities, particularly communities of color, and what we need to do going forward. That's next.